cell therapy manufacturing requires technical and operational expertise, which Bristol-Myers Squibb has and continues to grow by creating facilities, processes, and a workforce that completely revolve around the patient. Our expanding manufacturing footprint includes state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities, supported by cutting-edge technologies and highly trained manufacturing teams. We continue to grow our network and capacity to treat patients, with new sites planned and under construction in Europe and the U.S. Let's take a moment to peek behind the curtain on our capabilities for cell therapy manufacturing on a guided tour of one of our manufacturing sites, designed with a modular approach to make it adaptable for future cell therapy products and platform innovations. Across our facilities, we have the capabilities for both clinical trials and future commercial manufacturing. Please note that manufacturing processes may differ between cell therapies or products. This will help give a more general overview across our portfolio as you follow cells through the general process. Let's start at the beginning where the patient cells arrive in highly controlled shipping containers with temperature control and constant monitoring. For quality control, technicians receive and inspect the material prior to the start of manufacturing processes. Our focus is on maintaining patient chain of identity, product integrity, and quality. Next, we head to the isolation suite where the patient material is processed to isolate the desired T-cells. This is done by using solutions and processes that carefully wash and separate the desired cells. Isolated cells are drained into bags and loaded into cassettes. The bags are then frozen in a controlled rate freezer to slowly lower the temperature and minimize cellular damage. This is called cryopreservation, a commonly used process in cell therapy manufacturing. Now we'll move to the process suite, where the cryopreserved cells begin the process of becoming CAR T-cells. A viral vector, a tool commonly used to deliver genetic material into cells, is used to insert the chimeric antigen receptor, or the CAR, into T-cells. This introduces the machinery that re-engineers the T-cells to specifically attack target cells, including cancer cells. After T-cells have been modified to express the CAR, they are exposed to conditions that foster rapid growth. Over the course of several days, the newly created CAR T-cells multiply rapidly to create enough material to perform necessary testing of the product and then treat the patient. CAR T-cells are then washed to remove culture media. Next, CAR T-cells are diluted to a target concentration and then filled into bags, which are then moved out of the manufacturing suite to prep for cryopreservation and shipment. BMS uses state-of-the-art quality control labs. Testing performed here covers aspects of the manufacturing process, from when the cells arrive to when the final product is given to the physician and patient. In addition, throughout this process, there are more than 500 chain of identity points that offer checks and balances to ensure continuity of the patient's cells throughout the journey. BMS's end-to-end -end process is critical to ensuring the delivery of reliable and consistent cell therapies to patients in need. Thanks for joining us on this facility tour today. At our BMS sites, we recognize that each product we manufacture is for an individual person. That's why we are so passionate about the operations taking place at our facilities.